Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. We have Qui-Gon Jinn Force Spirit. Lovely to see these figures back in the uh, plastic packaging, being able to see what you're buying. It's uh, it's nice to see that again. I'm, you know, we I think most of us sorely missed it. But yeah, it's good. Season number 16, as you can see by the number there, nice image there of... Qui-Gon Jinn does say on the back, at the end of Obi-Wan Kenobi's long journey, he encounters the spirit of his old friend and mentor, venerable Jedi Master and student of the living force, Qui-Gon Jinn. So yeah, again, nice image on the side there, figure nicely presented in the box. And uh, I'm going to cut and we're going to open up and take a look at the figure. And here he stands, the spirit of Qui-Gon Jinn indeed. A nice addition to the line the Obi-Wan Kenobi shelf. 17 figures in total. This is number 16, as I said before, on the box. He is completely, uh, you know, reusing the same sculpt as the most recent, uh, the Episode 1 Phantom Menace, sort of 20th anniversary edition Qui-Gon Jinn, which got the updated head. So no, no reason not to use that again. This was a uh, really, really nice Qui-Gon Jinn figure. So, um, yeah, no no use in sparing any details and making new stuff when you can use the old mold. Um, and much like the other Force Ghosts, which I just recently reviewed the three pack, the Force Spirit three pack. And uh, hang around, because I will do a bit of a comparison side by side towards the end of the video. So much in the same way, using some sort of translucent plastic elements for the lower half of the figure and then sort of going up going with the sort of more solid solid plastic going with that sort of pearlescent sheen which you know is yeah it, it's it, it lends itself to being a little bit of a carbonized gimmick so hopefully this is it um in terms of the lore of, of Qui-Gon becoming a visible force apparition at the end of uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I still haven't decided how I feel about that. Um, as it was always the case during the Clone Wars when Yoda went on his, his sort of mission in the uh, season six when he met Qui-Gon, was able to hear his disembodied voice in the force. Um, Qui-Gon explicitly stated he wasn't able to complete his his training in order to become part of the living force once more in, you know, in way of becoming a, a force spirit, a force ghost, an apparition of the force, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. So I'm interested to sort of see um, how that comes about. Um, one thing I've always discussed with force spirits is it's very dependent on the viewer. So like when Luke sees Yoda, when Luke sees Obi-Wan, it's all very dependent on the point of view of the Force user. Um, for example, with Luke Skywalker, when he first first starts tapping into the Force at the end of A New Hope, he, all he can do is hear Ben Kenobi saying, you know, use the Force. And then as he progresses, becomes stronger in the Force, Empire Strikes Back, he's able to see him in... Return of the Jedi, Ben basically comes and sits on a log. So I think it's very much on the user's connectivity to the Force in which they can see the Force spirits. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice looking Qui-Gon. Again, got this sort of sheer, sheer hooded row, which sort of sits on there okay, you know, for what it is. It's meant to just sort of have this almost just a shimmery effect, more of an outline than a than a use of a robe for me. Um, but you know, it, it, it's a robe, but you know, it just sort of shows a little bit of spiritualness, <laughs> glowy, force glowy. I just want to see what it looks like with the. So you can kind of see shining through the back of the figure, which parts are clear elements through the lower arms, the legs. Does still have the peg there for his lightsaber, but you know, again, it doesn't come with one, he doesn't need one. 
but I think he's a nice addition. A good one to have an exclusive of too, like I believe this is a Walmart exclusive in the US. Um, it appears to be a um, bit of an exclusive here. I mean, exclusives aren't really a thing down here in Australia anymore. A lot of a lot of different outlets do have access to them these days, so which is which is great. You have to excuse my phone. I'm getting some emails. So again, it's the two side by side. And if we compare them with their predecessors, well, you know, within a little bit bit of time of each other. We have Obi Wan. We have Anakin. And we have Jedi Master Yoda in all their force spirity goodness. So they look quite good together. And I don't know why my phone's just decided to start getting all these emails now and text messages and stuff. Of course, I still want the cameras on. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they, these three, these four look good together. Nice sort of group shot. There's some definitely a few little decorative differences between them. Anakin doesn't have as much of that sort of force shimmer. Probably close to Obi-Wan. He's just very similar to Qui-Gon's. Um, I need to re-watch -re the end of the Kenobi series. because I don't know. I feel like if Qui-Gon had the longer robe here, I think that would have looked a little bit cooler. That's just me. Um, even if they'd reused you know, the Anakin one. Or the Kenobi one, but um, yeah, they've given him more of the shorter robe, but um, yeah, I don't know, in terms of the four spirit, just to have uni unity among them, I think having us the sort of longer, longer robes would have looked cooler, but that's just me. But yeah, nice group of figures all together. Obviously the other three only appear to Luke. And Qui-Gon showed up at the end of Return of the Jedi there on Endor. Can imagine Luke going, who's that? <laughs> well, I've been here the whole time. You see, I've just been having a few pints of Guinness. Filmed a couple of action movies. Now here I am. So yeah, definitely would love to see a little bit more of Qui-Gon's journey. You know, while I'm not desperate for you know, extra lore to explain the path to be able to come back as a force spirit. I do find it would be interesting how that all comes about and who's got it in mind and, you know, whether there is a set set of rules in order to come back. But yeah, articulation, you know, it's, it's, it's self-explanatory. He's got a ball hinge in the, a ball joint in the head, ball hinge in the neck, hinge in the shoulders, elbows, wrists, Torso joint, uh, upper joint in the thighs, swivel thighs, double joint in the knees, and hinge and rock joint in the ankles. Being a bit of an older figure, you know, the figure, the, the base of this figure is quite a, quite a few years old now, uh, even with the head sculpt being new, newer. Uh, it is quite an older figure, but, you know, being one that's probably just going to display as he is, it's fine. It's, it's absolutely fine. I'm digging it. Love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Just drop a comment down below. And uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Do appreciate your time. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Really do appreciate it. Closing in on 5,000 very, very quickly. So if you could be a part of that, that'd be awesome. Thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate your time once again. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, may the force be with you always.